People are asking why I wanted to build an upside down race car. I asked them why not. After all, no one's ever done it, and it's freaking cool. Now I actually chose both of these cars specifically for this project before I found the cars themselves. Found a 1990 Festiva with uh, just about 200,000 miles on it. Didn't run. 200 bucks cash on Craigslist. The Camaro, on the other hand, was I got him down to 800 bucks on the price, which is about the best price you'll find on a 99 Camaro. It's got the right look to be on a racetrack, a modern car on a racetrack like that. The code name for this project was Catfish. I would have called it Dead Catfish, but that would have been too much of a giveaway, so we just called it Catfish. For Lemon's purposes, the $500 is for the race car itself. If you want to spend extra money slowing your car down by bolting another car on top of it, you're more than welcome to spend all you like. So when we're disassembling one of these future Lemon's cars, we're very careful. We remove these parts as delicately as possible to make sure that we preserve them for future generations. That way, 10 years from now, when some long-haired gentleman out in the country wants to buy a dash for his magnificent 99 Camaro, I want to make sure that I have that part in supply to him. We take extra care in removing these parts, and that way we can list them on eBay and make somebody very, very happy when they get the package. Cruising Classics, Volume 6. Wouldn't it Sam hell? Curse you, speedy cop! So the internet experts tell us you have to pull the engine and transmission from the bottom. And we know that you don't believe the internet experts ever on anything because they've always told me everything I do can't be done, and I keep on doing it year after year. So, we pulled the motor and transmission out of the top of that Camaro, as we should have, I think, you know, as, as any good car guy should. With minimal trouble, I'd say 10-15 minutes, we had motor trains out of there just like that, no problem. Now the Festiva was chosen for its proud racing heritage and its amazing abilities on the road. 60 horsepower, brand new, I mean that's just raw power right there. Now we needed a quality roll cage for this car because we were racing this thing at high speeds. We chose a cage out of my Geo Metro race car that was battle tested and well proven. Have you seen the video of me jumping this? But he's gonna die. Oh good. <laughs> we hadn't made any measurements so we didn't know for sure if the cage would fit from the Geo Metro into the Ford Festiva. It fit like the glove. All we had to do was build some platforms for it to sit on. Now the Camaro was white and the paint was pretty dingy. And when we got the Camaro and the Festiva assembled into an upside-down race car, it just didn't have that pop that it needed. So I went to CarQuest and I paid almost $200 for paint supplies to paint this car. And to me, that's a fortune. According to the internet car experts, it's a $500 paint job all day long. Let me tell you, if you want a $500 paint job that quality, bring your car, I'll do it right now. So I want to say thank you to the dozens and dozens of people that have offered me their support and encouragement, both during this build and afterwards, now that they've seen it on the internet. Uh, and told me how wonderful they think it is. And to the two or three thousand people that didn't think it was awesome, you could build something better, and I'll be impressed. Hey, speedy cop. I got my damn speedy speedyometer here from a Camary. I'm real pissed. I'm coming for you and your upside down Camary. Get that shit out of my face.